Welcome back to Finnegan's Garage. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to this channel so we can keep cranking out content for you. Now, this is my wife's fully restored 1969 Chevy El Camino. And this over here, that's a 2022 Yamaha Jet Blaster Wave Runner that is not on the market yet. What do these two things have in common? Absolutely nothing. I just need something to launch that into the lake today so I can go have fun with it. And uh, wifey's not home, so we're using her car. So first thing you gotta know about my wife is she does not watch my YouTube channel, uh, which is good, because I don't know if she'd approve of this or not. Um, and here's why. 1969 Chevy El Camino, bought brand new by her grandfather, passed down to his son. His son passed it down to my wife. My wife and I hauled this thing all the way to Georgia, and um, Unbeknownst to her, I had it completely restored. It's the nicest thing we own. It has an LS3 that makes 525 horsepower. It has a Silver Sport Transmissions, Tremec, six-speed gearbox in there. Uh, Ride Tech coilover suspension all the way around, forge line wheels. And my friend Anthony Bell and his dad completely restored the body, including the chrome. I mean, like, it's nice. We rarely drive it. And when we do, it usually breaks down for a lot of reasons. I've been sitting on this trailer hitch for about, I'd say 10 years. I swapped some Roadkill fans, t-shirts and hats for this, and we never installed it. So right now we're gonna drill some holes in the frame, bolt this in so that we can use Wifey's Whip to go launch our personal watercraft. We've got some fresh new young talent doing some things that I know you haven't heard before. One, two, three, listen. This car has 15 inch Willwood front disc brakes and 14s in the back. And uh, they're manual brakes, no booster. And these are the kind of brakes that the harder you push the pedal and the hotter they get, the better they work. Um, I remember we did a test in Hot Rod Magazine on these brakes versus Willwood 12s and I think 11s and um, these are only marginally better than the smaller disc brakes. However, the smaller ones, eventually when you beat on them, say like on a road course, they will fade a little bit. These things, no matter how many times I hard stopped it, I couldn't get them to fade. So that's really what I think the benefit of giant discs are, is you have all that extra pad area and it takes longer for them to fade. Not necessarily shorter stopping distance. I think like a stock 10 or 11 inch disc brakes, when you go to bigger brakes, you can get a shorter stopping distance than the stock stuff. But when you get into the monster disc brakes, at least the ones I've dealt with from Willwood, their real benefit is reduced fade or no fade compared to the stock stuff. None of that really matters when you're doing a burnout. You know, as long as the car sits still, you're good. And if it had air conditioning, my wife would probably drive it a bunch, but right now it's summer in Georgia and uh, she's not really cruising the old Elko around. Wait till she finds out we put AC in my C10 and I haven't done it in this yet. She might have a problem with that. You'll see that on another episode of Finnegan's Garage where we put vintage air in my C10 because we wanted to go drive it. I call that a successful test of our trailer hitch. Now, onto the water. It is an amazing time to be into motorsports right now, especially stuff that goes on the water. You might recall that thing from last year on the channel. We test drove the 2021 Yamaha Superjet. It was awesome. I think we went like 53 miles an hour on it. I'm sure others have gone faster, but we lived. That's the important part. This year, Yamaha said, we have a brand new model. It's not even out yet. I don't even know how many people have actually seen or ridden this, but this is called the Jet Blaster. And this is a personal watercraft that they built basically for people like me. You could put two people on this, maybe even three, but why do that when there's footholds right here in this lightweight hole from the factory? 
It has aluminum bars that are mounted up high, kind of like a dirt bike. Everything about this says, leave your friends on the shore, find out how good you can do donuts on this. This thing has an electric trim system for the jet drive. The same thing in my jet boat game over that makes the rooster tail go up and down and changes the whole experience of driving that boat is present right here. I gotta be honest, I wanna know what happens when you do that wide open with the nozzle pointed up. I feel like there's fun to be had there. It also has the ride system. This lever is forward, this lever is reverse. Let go of both of them, you're in neutral, and you can actually use this one to slow down. The right application of forward and reverse in a spin, there's, there's fun to be had there too, so. Other than that, this has the four stroke, one liter Yamaha TR1 HO Marine motor, which is a beast. And I feel like that motor in something this light, because this is not heavy, means really good throttle response and awesome acceleration. It has a 13 gallon fuel tank. We're riding all day in this. I'm super fired up to find out what happens when we play with this. Newber and I are gonna have the time of our lives. You guys get to come along for the ride. We're probably gonna have to end this video with burnouts and wifey's whip, uh, because why not? You put the nozzle down and it just carves like it's on a rail. You put the nozzle up, it slides everywhere.
<laughs> Dude, it's so fun. It's almost as much fun as the super hit. It's a different kind of fun for sure, but like some of the other sit downs I've been on, after about 10 minutes, you're like, okay, this thing has cruise control and a supercharger. You could cruise all day on it, but you know, the thing that gets your heart pumping isn't there. This has that. This definitely has that. I like it. The stand up is not intuitive, right? Because your your body's and your brain's telling you, let off the gas, I'm gonna die. But the way to turn that thing is to give it throttle. And right. Lean into it, you know? So yeah. I think that's what messes everybody up is you just have to commit, you know? Yeah, see I can stand up on it and I can go straight just fine. The second I go to turn, I just fall over like a tree. Yeah, this is like this is a lot like riding a four wheeler on a dusty road. Yeah. You know? Like there's very few consequences to this when you're out by yourself on a lake with flat water, you know? Like at no point when I was goofing around out there did I ever feel like this thing's throwing me off and you know, I'm gonna be in pain. Um, I am wearing the neoprene shorts this time though, because, let's see. You wanna ride it? Yes. Let's stop this video real quick. And I need to ask you one more time. Can you hit the subscribe button for me? You probably forgot to do it. I know you want to right now, please. Thank you. On with the show. All right, follow me to the creek. Another killer product from Yamaha. I love the Jet Blaster. It's every bit as fun as a stand-up, and uh, that's saying a lot. Yeah. We've been out here for two, almost three hours, and thanks to the 13-gallon fuel tank, this thing wants to go the rest of the day. Yeah. This one's about ready to have some fuel put in it, and uh, so we're gonna get out of here. I'm sitting on three-quarter tank. This thing does good. Yeah. And I'm not good at riding these things. Like I tried my damn just to get thrown off, and it w I couldn't. I did everything <laughs> I could. I was like. How can I rig this thing? And it would not do it. That's so. why you're the right guy for the job. You're like, I tried to throw myself off, but it did not work. No, I didn't. All right, we're out of here. And as promised, a huge burnout in my wife's car that we didn't tell her about. Yeah, no. Thanks for watching. It just occurred to me, it's been way too long since we've done burnouts. And uh, 
wifey doesn't really watch this video, so uh, what she doesn't know won't hurt her. Truth be told, this is my first jet ski trailer burnout. Let's see how the Oko likes second gear. That was the clutch, huh? Yeah. Oh man. I just remembered what you did to this clutch. What? You tried to go one, two, three on this very road. Oh, do the burnout and then third it slipped. Yeah, you slipped it in third. Well, it doesn't like second with a trailer. We'll try to do first. Oh, that was second, oh, okay. That was second. <laughs> oh no, this clutch might be toast. <laughs> Let's see. Thank <laughs> you.